That seems like it's a different direction each time, but is it always towards where the sun is? Ow. I wonder if it's towards where the sun is. So, that direction. It seems to be towards where the sun is. Is that what's... Huh. Anyway, we're not going to Dark Bramble yet. I'm gonna go back to... Um... I'm gonna go back to Brittle Hollow, because we have stuff to do here. Like, there's there's the thing on the, on the, the North Pole here and shit, there's the thing on the equator. Like, there's a bunch of shit to check out here. Yeah, there's this tower that we didn't get to check out last time. Oh, shit. I'm trying to find a good place to land. It looks like here, maybe. Oh, God, yeah. The singularity, I forgot about that. Okay, let's hope this doesn't fucking immediately kill me. Well, that's so much further than I thought it was going to be. Hey, it's writing. Black hole sleeps below. Christ, okay. actually a fucking black hole here. The Nomai were... Jesus. Okay, let's check out what this is. There's a thing here. Everyone unharmed. No one's badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. It's good news, at least. We, have we heard from escape pod 2 and 3? No, I, I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, is any comfort? Both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can. That's the moon's approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet does not appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Okay. That's the end of that. Okay. Let's head inside and check out what's going on. So it looks like the Nomai... Something happened to, ma to like lead to the Nomai here, maybe? So they might not even be like a precursor race. Okay, Patch... Escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, launch escape pod 1. Collision imminent. Scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instability detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy detected, hospitable. Um, escape pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured, emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. The vessel, escape pod, okay. 
Let's let's read this first. We're gonna see escape hatch. Oh well. Okay. Wondering what that would do. Um goes up. I don't see where it goes to. At all. Okay, well. At some point, some of these fucking things are gonna fall and crush this area, so let's get the fuck out of here and try to try to get to the thing at the equator. Unless this was the thing at the equator. That... That might have been. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. There's also the big dome thing at one of the poles. But that looked like the white tower that they were talking about. Unless that's it. Well, no, that's the gravity cannon. Which, we dealt with the gravity cannon before. Now I'm just looking for... There's this. This is where we dot... No, it's not. That was on a different planet. Okay. Still have to go to the fucking Hourglass Twins. But we'll do that later. I want to see what the fuck's going on with this first. No, we have been here. This is where we died before. There's a bunch of writing and stuff that we found here, but that was it. Oh no, we haven't done this. A hang city. Be below. Yeah, no, we've been here. We've super been here. Yes, okay, we have been here. We we died here. We watched we died about watching Yep, there goes one of the suns. Okay, yeah, so you can see a bunch of supernovas happening all over. Um Alright. So yeah, we died here when I was Yeah, because I got stranded because I couldn't get back to the ship. We got pulled through the fucking thing, and I was almost out of uh, oxygen and shit. Okay, so we went to the White Tower. That looks like the only other thing. And we've been down there before, though. Okay, so we're going to unlock from there. I don't think we can land on that thing. At least I don't think we want to. We don't want to go on to the sun. That's what I was looking for last time. That thing around the sun right there. It's super fucking close to the sun, too. Like, I 100% would believe that that thing falls into the sun and causes the explosion. But, that would be if it wasn't happening on a bunch of other shit. Like, all the other stars, you can watch the stars, like, exploding. There's one in the corner right there on your own buckle. You can see them all exploding. Please don't autopilot me into the sun. Yeah, I want to know what that thing floating around the sun is. Because we couldn't find it when the sun was closer to us exploding. There's got to be a way onto it. Okay. 
Okay, that thing. The fuck? That thing is covered in sand. And it's siphoning onto the other one. Onto the larger one. So that thing's filling with sand and that thing's emptying with sand. Huh. There's gotta be some cool shit here, I guess. Like, there's gotta be shit uncovered on here, right? Yeah. Oof, we are real close to that sun. Yeah, look at all the fucking structures uncovering. And there's this whole project here. Oh, Jesus. That makes me feel like I'm about to fly up into the fucking sun. Well, we do know when the sun explodes, we are going to be one of the first things to go. So I'm sure as hell not making it off this planet in time. What is this? There's a tower here to go explore, so let's go check it out, I guess. And there ain't shit on it, okay. Oh, okay. What is that? That is absolutely a know my thing. I don't know what it is, but it's doing something. beacon there, okay. Oh, great. There's one in... So <sighs> Fucking hell. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to find those, yeah. <sighs> oh, up there. I... I bet you I have enough time. I didn't know there was anybody else up there. Okay. Let's go... Let's go visit uh, another person. We have it somewhere around six to seven minutes. I don't know. It seems like it's about 20 minutes per run is from videos and from editing. At least... Uh, oh. Yo, no, wait. There's a whole fucking thing here now. No. Let me out. Yeah, there's a whole fucking thing here now. Okay, we'll we'll come back to that. My gratitude. Clary, this is the Ash Tomb Project the under is underway. Uh, wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return more materials soon. Confess, I'm deeply curious about what uh, you and Poke found. The White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit some time to learn? Warp course. Okay. Damn, I'm trying to get close enough to... I recommend you do the Whitehall Station is the model for the towers we're building for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. Suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the Whitehall Station with you. 
You know, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, our density rivals the neutron stars. Go meet her on the Whitehall station. We have to explain our findings. Oh, I'm upside down. Oh, that's... That's trippy as fuck. Oh, the sun is very red. Alright, let's go try to see if we can... Come on, I want to see what's at the bottom of this. Watch, it's fucking nothing, or it's a big monster that's gonna eat me. I don't fucking know what's on here. I'm scared. This game is... I love this game. Like, legitimately. I thought DMC5 was gonna take my, my like, favorite game from this year. This has done it. And... Because everything is fucking unknown. Like, I do not know what is behind any fucking corner in this. And I think that's what I like most about it. Like, why... Why is all the sand siphoning off of this planet onto another one? Is that an intentional effect? Is that why it's called the Hourglass Twins? Oh, wait, what the fuck? My ship got sucked up there. Oh. Can I get sucked up there? No, yes? I don't know. Yeah, kinda. I made it up here. I don't quite know what I'm doing, but that was definitely scary. That made me very tense when I did that. Um, so my ship's gone. It's buried under sand, I think. But hey, at least there's writing to read for the last couple minutes of my life. Still will need to remain, remain close for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on extraordinary findings from the Whitehall Station. Remy and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So, although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is in an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Update, the High Energy Lab is now being used to, des to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Energy Lab. Okay. Sunless City, 300 meters away. Oh, hey, cool. Your ship does stay above sand, kind of. Ow. I didn't know it could get sucked up. That's funny. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Because the ship's about to be crushed. Oh, no, it's not. Cool. Ooh, oh, that's close to the sun. I don't like that. That's real close. Yeah, at some point, that thing that's floating around the sun disappears. Oh, God. 
I just realized how fast I was accelerating away from everything. quantum fluctuation thing there. Yeah, that thing is gone. Huh. So there is a quantum fluctuation thing on our planet. And our moon. Wow, there's a lot of them. doing this to bring myself back into the solar system because I flew way too far out. There we go. Trying to see if I can spot that thing. Interloper hits it. The interloper went into the sun. Oh. So that's what happens? Giant's Deep, not the Quantum Moon. The interloper hit the sun. Yeah, look, it's gone. Oh. That's why the sun blows up. Sorry I always end these episodes just kind of watching the sun, but I think we got at least a good bit of information today. And we also just learned that the interloper disappears after getting very close to when, uh, when the sun's about to blow. And we watched it go into the sun, which means that we figured something else out about this. Like, the interloper destroys the sun somehow. It's tiny, though. Yeah, you can see the sun's, like, darkening and stuff about to fucking... Wonder what... Oh! Look, Ash Twin ran out of... Ash Twin ran out of sand. Okay, so the interloper entered the sun and Ash Twin ran out of sand at the same time. Well, not the same time, but the sun blows up just as Ash Twin runs out of sand. We'll figure this out next time. Have a nice night, everybody. Well, not next time, but eventually, I guess. Fuck, though. So Ash Twin runs out of sand, and that signifies when the sun's going to blow up. Okay. Interloper entered the sun shortly before that. That's when it got... Like, super dark red. 
So that's a thing, I guess? I don't know. I know I'm not going to finish this in 28 episodes, so we'll find out. Have a nice night, everybody. Bye.